Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel WP Fresher WordPress Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a full backup of your WordPress website and also will show you how you can restore your site from your backup file. Here is my website online 4 ktbcom I will take a full backup of the site and after taking the backup, I will delete the site and then again restore it with the backup file that was taken in this video. Well, let's see the easy way to take a full backup of your WordPress website. Manual backup is the best way to take a full backup without losing anything instead of using any other backup plugin. You know, every backup plugin has a free and paid feature. If your site has many contents and files, then you won't be able to do it with any other backup plugins for free. That's why I always suggest you take a full backup of your WordPress site manually. There are no file limitations. You need to follow two things to take a full backup of your WordPress website manually. First of all, you need to download all the files from your cPanel and lastly, you need to download a backup of your WordPress website database file. Let's see how to download all the files from your cPanel. I'm going to log in into my website cPanel account. This is the view of a cPanel account. I'm using HostGator web hosting. If you want to purchase HostGator web hosting then follow the below promo URL from the description. To get a special discount on up to 71% off for new customers. I always suggest purchasing their web hosting because they are reliable, faster, 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee and there is no maximum number of file upload limitations. Unlimited you know this means you can be able to upload unlimited files. Now search or find out file manager then click on it. The system will redirect you to the file directory. The file directory will be different for the primary domain and all the subdomains or add-on domains. If you want to take a backup of your primary domain then you need to go into the public underscore html folder. And if you want to take a backup of your subdomain or add-on domains, then you will be able to find out the subdomain or add-on domain name here. Here you can see the primary domain name for this uh, cPanel account. Online4ktb.com is the primary domain for this cPanel. And the file directory for this primary domain is public underscore HTML. Click on it and then make sure to enable the show hidden files from option in cPanel settings. It will display to see all the hidden files like the .ht access file. Then click on select all files and uncheck .well-known and cgi-bin folders and click on compress then select compression type as zip archive then click on compress file. Wait a few seconds. Well, compression completed. Close it and then download the zip file. Lastly, you need to take a backup of your database file. To know the database name, you need to open the wp-config.php file in edit mode to see the database name that is currently used by your website. Here you can see the DB name which means database name is online ktb underscore for ktb. Now go back to the cPanel dashboard again and find out PHP my admin then click over there and then it will redirect you to the MySQL server to manage all the database files. Here you can see the database name online ktb underscore 4 ktb. Just click on it. Then click on export 
and then click on go button without changing anything. Then save the file to your preferred directory on your device. Well, all done. You took the full backup of your WordPress site manually. Now I will show you how you can restore your site from your backup file that is downloaded right now. I'm going to delete all the files. And also going to delete the database tables. Now trying to browse the site. Here you can see the site is empty. It has no content. And that's why it's displaying it appears you don't have permission to access this page because the directory has no file. Now go back to the file directory and upload the downloaded zip file. Again, go back to the MySQL server and select the database file. And then click on import button then click on choose file and then select your downloaded database file and click on go button without changing any options wait few seconds well it's successfully imported. Again back to the file upload directory. Wait few seconds completing the upload zip file. Upload completed and then click on go back to the directory. Now select the zip file and click on extract. Then extract files. Close it. All done. Now try to browse the site again. It's running with the previous content. That's all about it to take a full backup of your WordPress website manually and restore the site from the backup file. Hope you already started loving us. A small request for you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel WP Fresher WordPress Tutorials. We published awesome videos every week to make the WordPress website better. Thank you. Bye-bye.